Hey, welcome back to another episode of Wicked Mysteriae. Mysterious. <laughs> I'm your host, Danny. And I'm Katie. And this is Mini Mystery Monday. Yay! How I are can't you? say anything at that part. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. How are you feeling? I'm tired. It's a night recording day. Night. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, a night recording night. Right off the bat, I just want to say thank you for coming here and always recording with me. Oh, thank you for opening your doors to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. I know that uh, things have been rough. Yeah. So I appreciate you. In the health department. But yeah. things are on the up and up, so. Good. But thank you for appreciating me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for doing all the legwork. Well, and being I the enjoy mastermind. it, so it's not like. I know. It's not. I know you do. Hard. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it it's a lot of work, it but is. it's it when you're having fun, it's not right. And this is fun. I was just thinking about it today. Like, it is pretty awesome. It is that isn't we're back it? every week. You know? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Good. I'm glad you still feel that way. <laughs> For now. <laughs> yeah. In two weeks, you're gonna be like, I feel like I'm forcing you. <laughs> That's a joke. <clears throat> uh. So yeah. Um. Couple housekeeping things. We've got some housekeeping. We've got some new designs in our Etsy shop. So check that out. It's Wicked Mysterious Co. And for those who have subscribed to us on Patreon, we have some surprises for you. But I need your address to be ordered to send you some stuff. So if you check your Patreon messages and respond, that would be lovely if that's something you want. Yeah, thank you to our wanting. Patreon subscribers. Yes. Um, so amazing. Right? Katie didn't know that we had I didn't any even shows. know we had any. I just learned today. I said, holy shit, that's so cool. Cool yeah. people. We're like legit now. Yeah. Um, and for anybody else that wants to support us, check out our Patreon membership. You get special benefits for being nice to us. Mm -hmm. So thank you. <laughs> um, we do have a new Patreon subscriber this week, Miranda P. Hi, Miranda. So thank you so much, Miranda. Thank We've you. got an amazing listener mail. That I'm going to read Ooh, at the end. At the end. Okay. So yeah. got to stay listening for it. Yeah. So, all right. Let's get into it. This topic. Well, let's get into it. Are you going to give a little summary and do our music or? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so today's mini mystery is highly requested, but it's going to be slightly different from our regular episodes because we wanted to try to research this together since it's such like a current hot topic. Yeah, but it's mostly Danny, but I'm here to interject a lot of information. <laughs> We're in trouble because I thought it was mostly you. <laughs> <laughs> Danny. No, we are in trouble then. <laughs> no, no, we'll, we'll, we'll be, be fine. We will. Um, so the thing though that kind of sucks about doing this is like, there's not a whole lot of podcasts out there that cover this yet, which is great for us. And we get a lot of listenership that way. But with new topics, it's kind of like, unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot out yeah, there, yeah. at least not yet. Yep. Um, so I'm actually surprised by the amount of humans that I've come in contact with that haven't heard about it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Real life humans. Yep. Real ones, not aliens. Not aliens. That you know of. Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought we could start this episode with just the facts as we know them. Mm -hmm. So on New Year's Day, 2024. Wait, 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 wait. I have huh. to throw in something. Yeah. I first have to tell our listeners that I learned about this topic last time I walked in your house and Correct. I was greeted with, did you hear about the alien invasion in Miami? <laughs> and I had to sit down and was like, what the fuck? No. <laughs> And that just thought pops into my head sometimes. It was just like a very nice entrance. It was like very surprising and shocking. Yeah. I'm excited to do this. All right, go on. Sorry. Yeah. After you left that night, I was like so scared. I, I didn't want <laughs> to get like, gasoline, Danny. Yeah. I didn't want to be alone in my house. I don't know why I get like scared like that because it's not. Yeah. It never ends up being anything. But the yeah. one time I don't get scared. It's gonna I'm not be gonna have any gas. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> Something's it. gonna happen. And I've said it on another episode, but one time Danny <laughs> thought there was an alien invasion, and I pulled up, and she was panicking, and she had her eyes wide, and she's like, "Let's go, get in the car. We gotta go get gas." And I'm like, "Okay." And we're on the way, and she's like, "Dude, the aliens, they're coming." Yeah. Telling all my secrets. That was that was quite a night. We've had. Fun. I was prepared, so <laughs> we've had between the two of us, we've had some funny 
alien freak stories. out moments. I won't tell yours. I'm not going to tell yours. My neighbors are probably listening. I forgot about that. So one time, maybe we should. No, let's not should, tell people. Okay, we're not going to tell them. People are getting mad about our banter, so we have to really reel it in. How many people are getting mad about? Like, it? I want to listen to feedback, and I want to like yeah. do better. But there's and, a nice way to to put it. Yeah. Not Sometimes, content, honestly, it's like a warm up to talk a little bit. Right. Right. So that's thank all. you to people who are who give us criticism. That's nice and kind and helpful because yeah. we do really appreciate it and take it into consideration. Yeah, especially I just Danny. Be better, and I want to like <laughs> if somebody says something, I and that comes from like years of working in customer service. Right. I think like I do take it serious and mm-hmm. I like think it's valid most of the time. For but sure. all right, let's get into it. Yes. On New Year's Day, twenty twenty four, an explosion was heard at the Bayside Market in Miami, prompting a heavy police presence. Heavy is right. Yeah. For what the Miami police claim to be teenagers setting off fireworks. Supposedly, after this, four teens were arrested, and the amount of police were to help control the crowd of people who were trying to escape the scene because the people there mistook the fireworks for gunfire. False reports quickly spread, such as the fact that the airspace above Miami was shut down, which in fact was not true. Mm -hmm. Other reports said that there were extremely low frequencies being broadcasted, causing malfunctions of electronics, and still others claimed the initial explosion was a portal opening and beings coming through. Yeah. And even more people took to social media to post or dissect cell phone footage and grainy security camera or news footage in an attempt to point out gray blurs moving across the screen and calling them aliens. Reports came in that witnesses saw 10-foot-tall, transparent aliens either inside or outside the mall. After all that kind of settled down, the public information officer, Michael Vega, of the Miami police responded to comments saying, quote, There were no aliens. No airports were closed. Nothing is being withheld from the public. LOL. End quote. (laughs) I love the professionalism. Right. So first off, I Katie, I know you have your opinions on this. Yeah, and I have but we don't mine. have to get into it right now. Yeah, um, right? but we need to like constantly remind people, especially on social media, that we're not saying this yes. is true or false. Oh my god, please don't think that we really think this is either thing. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> A lot of stuff we cover, we have no way of knowing if it's true or not because we weren't there. Right. And even if we were there, eyewitness accounts are very subjective. Always. And the videos on social media are flimsy evidence, to say the oh, least. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's one whole part of it. Like, yeah. So some of the claims said that these beings were having telepathic communications with witnesses, which is the thing that I thought was most interesting. And I think that if this were to ever happen, that would probably be likely. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. As we've explained in other episodes that some contactees who are thought to be genuine have recounted telepathic communications with extraterrestrials. Yeah. So I do think that's a thing. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's why when I first heard about this, I was like, oh shit, it's finally happening. But yeah, no. So my opinion based on the footage alone is that we just don't know. We can't tell if this is real or not. And there's probably no way that we can tell right now. Mm -hmm. However, There are other encounters I've seen that were caught on tape that we'll cover in future episodes that are much more believable and credible than these slowed down, heavily edited, heavily reshared social media posts. Um, And I also don't think the Miami police saying nothing to see here, LOL, should be taken at face value because we know the police often lie in a futile attempt to protect the public Mm -hmm. and very often to protect themselves. Always, yeah. Well, mostly. Um, Do you have anything to add so far? Um, Yeah. So, like, right off the rip, the presence, the heavy police presence, it was like, there's no way that, there's no way in hell that that would be for kids fighting in Mm -hmm. the mall. Like, what? how many cop cars would you say? At least over 100. At least, yeah. Yeah. Wasn't there a SWAT team, too? Or no? Uh, I know there was helicopters, and mm-hmm. so I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't recall. Um, that just alone right there, you know, is like when they're telling the public that it's because of some rowdy kids, and that's what you're showing us, like, um, that's not very believable right off the rip. Right. 
So taking any kind of, um, anything from the media about it, I, I have a hard time with, mm-hmm. you know, if, if somebody says, Oh, it's, it was just some kids fighting in a mall. It's like, I'm not going to take that to face value at all. Not just that, but I think the media spread the lie, or I shouldn't say lie because I don't know that it was a lie, but spread the idea or the theory that this was aliens, aliens and yeah. they made that the story. Mm-hmm. And I have some thoughts on that, which I don't hear a lot of people talk about. Yeah, I um, have some thoughts on something like that too. So I wonder yeah. if they're the same thoughts. Yeah, I'm going to go where you're going. But first <laughs> I want to say it's just a theory that's out there. Um, so have you ever heard the theory that the people involved in our federal, federal government are Satanists? Have you ever heard that? Yes. Okay. So the theory says that part of Satanism or whatever it is that these people practice is that it's not ethically wrong in their minds or evil or bad to do what they're doing to us if they blatantly tell us what they're doing. And they do this by different means. Mm -hmm. leveraging tv programming media politicians music that whole illuminati thing um it's like out in the open and they have like celebrities holding up the illuminati sign and, and things like that so if this entire thing was part of a bigger plan and the media then grabbed it and pushed the alien narrative, it's possible that they're trying to tell us something without telling us something. Mm -hmm. And I bring this up because there's a lot going on currently at our borders and maybe the aliens they're talking about are actual illegal aliens Hmm. because it's part of some plan that they have in place to invade us. Hmm. So this is not a political podcast and I don't want to go like further down that road because it leads to fighting and division and stuff. But I just wanted to lately touch on the weird parallel between our government blatantly disregarding our borders right now and then the media pushing a narrative about a different kind of alien. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like they're telling us we're being invaded as part of their master plan, but they're not outrightly telling us. Yeah. So it's, I don't know. It's just a theory that's out there. Mm -hmm. Um, Also quick side note too. um, I don't know if it's actually Satanism that believes that, that telling people what you're doing to them abolishes the responsibility or fault or something on their part. Well, their conscience is probably just different than, our, yeah. you know, or their belief systems. You yeah. Know, so. I'm just saying, I don't know if it's like Satanism in particular that believes that. Yeah. And I've also done light research on the Taylor Swift is a satanic priestess theory, yes. which I hope to cover another time. But from what I understand, it's not necessarily a bad or evil belief system. I, and I don't know for sure. So I don't want to like throw a whole group of people under the bus by saying like, this is what Satanists do because yeah, right. this is just something I've heard and I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we also wanted to discuss like project blue beam, right? Mm-hmm. So that's kind of falls into the same category because with like new world order, Yes. It does kind of line up with like religion and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, um, Project Blue Beam for anyone who, which I really feel like is an episode in itself. Yes. But I mean, should we get into depth in it or should we just kind of touch on it in relation to, to the Miami aliens, which does sound like a sports team, by the way. Yeah. I know I said that earlier. Danny like, said gotta, that earlier. I was like, yeah, it really does. We're going to talk about the Miami aliens. Yeah. I almost want a shirt. <laughs> Like, we should do the Miami Dolphins colors, but do aliens. Oh, my God. What a good idea. Should I have not said that on the air? Maybe we should cut it. No. It's fine. Because we could get other Etsy people's for our ideas. Miami. Yeah. You know? Check out our Etsy shop for our Miami aliens. <laughs> Miami aliens gear. Yeah. Releasing soon. Yeah. Um. Oh no, but, like, Project Blue Beam has this, um, actually was predicted, wasn't it, supposed to start like an alien invasion in this year, 2024? Um, so from what I understand about it, and again, can't find a whole lot about it with Google. So it's like information I've pieced together through other sources. And there's some sort of government plan or new world order plan that involves um, the coming of like new religion, right? Like Yes. New, new world order. Yes, and and to do that, you have to eliminate nationalism. Yeah, and, a one one world religion. Yeah. Yes. So, 
um, for a long time in this country, they've pushed nationalism, which is like being proud to be an American, right? Like, which Christian is fine, I guess, <clears throat> but you can't control where you're born, and being born somewhere doesn't inherently make you better than somebody else born somewhere else. And so I kind of hate nationalism in general, but the idea is to like make us all come together, the whole entire world, to be on board with this one thought process or idea. Yes. And to do that, there has to be a threat from another planet. So their plan is to, uh, using, um, holographic Holographic, technology. Right. Yeah. To fake an alien invasion. Exactly. To fake an alien invasion. And it's confusing because I do believe that if you like, you go down the rabbit hole of religion and all the things that different contactees have said, aliens have been there and they haven't gone anywhere and they're coming back. It's believable to me that that's possible and likely to happen, maybe not in our lifetime, but I do believe that they, they will come back. And I think that's where some of the confusion lies with like Jesus or consciousness and just religion in general. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's some like blurred lines of beliefs there. Um, so it's just weird because it's like part of me believes that that could happen. And then the other part of me is like, well, if I see it, does that mean I believe it? How do I know if it's real or not? You won't know because they're getting so good with AI right. and so good with <clears throat> deep fakes. Yep. Yep. For sure. That it's like literally could be an AI alien walking down the street. Yeah. And everybody would be 100% sure that was a real alien, but it's AI. So is that what happened in Miami? <clears throat> Are they practicing for Project Blue Beam? Well, yeah. And yeah. Let's just break down the. Project Blue Beam. So if you look up on rationalwiki.org, uh-huh. it just quickly outlines the steps as I do remember researching it. Step one being the breakdown of all archaeological knowledge, which would be happening with faking earthquakes. Number two on the list is a gigantic space show with three-dimensional holographic laser projections beamed all over the planet, which we have had such a huge uptick in sightings Yeah, lately. Yeah. And I was just thinking, driving here, what if a lot of those sightings have been holographic? Right. I hate to think that way, because I want them to be actual. Like, let's let the actual aliens come. Right. Let's not fake them. Right. Um, Step three would be the telepathic electronic two-way communication, making people think that there's a god speaking to them through telepathy. And then step four, it has three parts making humanity think alien invasions occurring in every major city, making Christians think the rapture is about to happen, which is where we were really heavy on the religion part. Yeah. And then a mixture of electronic and supernatural forces, allowing them to travel through fiber optics and telephone lines and um, basically being able to penetrate electronic equipment and appliances. And that would all have a special microchip installed. So that's getting way deep in it. But that that's not what this episode's about. So, but that's just a quick little theory that these alien, these these Miami aliens could be part of the plan for Project Bluebeam. And I just was looking at that that wiki page. Um, yeah, the, there was this theory came from two journalists who both died and from heart attacks in 1996. And the belief of proponents of this theory is that they were assassinated. Huh. Interesting, um, because, yeah, when, I mean, because we learned about Project Bluebeam, like, I feel like already years ago. Yeah. Right? And when we, we learned about it, I swear I learned that it was, like, leaked. It was, like, leaked um, CIA. It says NASA. 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 NASA that's what it was. Yeah. Um, like, documentation that is how it kind of came out and about so do you think that these what did you say journalists yeah they got a hold of it and they exposed it that's what this says yeah interesting i mean it's interesting because um so much of the stuff that we talk about a lot of people will comment and say things like oh it's the antichrist you need to find jesus and blah 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 and like oh this is evil and stuff and it's like on the face of it it's not but 
who's to say that that's not what they're trying to, you know, yeah, they're th- maybe there is entities in our government that are evil and they are trying to implement this for whatever reason, which makes me sad. And I, I try to be like the optimist and I try to believe that there is a consciousness that's not malicious in any way. Mm-hmm. And that these aliens that come here and saucers like the legit ones Mm -hmm. are here to protect us and here to prevent us from blowing ourselves up because that's what numerous genuine contactees have said over and over and over. Um, But yeah, I don't know. Part of that is like my own bias because sometimes I find stuff that says the opposite and I just don't believe that. I don't want to believe that. Yeah. Um, So it's hard to, to make like a real, true, unbiased opinion. Yeah. And um, a little fun fact, but were you aware that this mall, what was the mall called? Bayside, Bayside Marketplace. Bayside Marketplace. Were you aware that um, an incident one year before happened? Yes. Okay. Yes. I found that very interesting. Yeah. And also there was like speculation that like that, that, that this all happened, like the alien thing happened in 2023. Yeah, I saw that same video yeah, that was but, explaining that. But that people were th- mistaking it for this year. Yeah, and that there's something up with time and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, if this was real and something really did happen, there would be a lot more evidence. So much more but evidence. But then again, you can fake Shock. anything. Mm-hmm. There are There are videos, though, that people have like edited to make it look like there's yep. something but the the bulk of the videos that you watch you can't see anything no or they'll be like oh look it's an alien but it's three policemen walking side by side it's like where do you see a 10-foot alien out of that right. i can see three sets of legs it walking. almost reminds me of um slender man and uh-huh. internet subculture and how yeah. kids maybe who don't know any better or can't make decisions because their brain's not fully developed they see things that just aren't really there right and i'm open to be corrected like if there's something we're missing and there's like a legit video that you can actually see something like please send it to us i i'm open to oh, changing yeah. my mind i mean if you're a listener and you were in the mall that yeah, night would be please great please message us we would love to talk to you we're gonna need some kind of proof though that yeah, you're legit right also I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. I'll believe it when I see it. And that's part of, that's part of project, project blue beam Beam is like, they want to make you see it. That you're going to see it. Be careful yeah. what you wish for yeah. because right. Exactly. And it's yeah. going to look really real. Yeah. And even when it was described as like see through, that's mm-hmm. the first thing I think of is like holographic, uh-huh. you know? Yeah. Um, but also a good point, like you said, yeah, a lot of footage, even if people are scared and they're running, there's going to be some brave ass motherfucker who's yep. standing in the corner with his phone, who doesn't have much to live for, that is going to go and be famous for this shit. Then you have to think about every single store in that mall that probably has surveillance footage. Don't tell me. But then they're saying that they're not leaking. They're not releasing the footage from the mall is what the, what they're telling us. So, yeah. you know, there's ways around that, but yeah. I just, I, I agree with the way we have phones and how quick they are. It's like, I don't, I just don't, I don't know. There's nothing clear. There's nothing right. clear. Right. And I'm not saying that they didn't really see holographic things. Yeah. Or even real aliens. I'm not saying they didn't. I don't. Yeah. With the evidence we have now, I don't think they did. Yeah. But yeah. I could be corrected. It's just really weird that something happened in that mall one exact year later. And granted, yes, it's New Year's, so there's rowdiness happening. But how is it that police are called for the exact same reason on the same exact day? Right. And I think it was even listed as like four teenagers were arrested. Well, I read that there was like 50 teenagers fighting with sticks. In 2023? (laughs) No, it, no, oh. this year. Oh, this year. Yeah. Right. But only four was arrested this year. Yeah. And the same amount of was arrested last year. But then I also heard that actually nobody was arrested. I also heard that this one kid went, I couldn't find the video, but I heard that there was a video floating around of a kid who said his dad was a Miami cop and he asked his dad what happened and his dad said he wasn't allowed to talk about it, uh-huh. which could be for any number of reasons. Right. It doesn't mean anything happened necessarily, yeah. but yeah. So, no. I mean, I, I think 
it's so hard. It really is because it's, it's almost like you feel like you're getting tricked because it's like, yeah, it's obvious that it wasn't kids fighting. Right. But, but like, maybe it was a drill. Yeah. Like a blue beam drill. Right. To see how everybody would react. Right. And that's why every freaking, anybody that wanted to commit a crime in Miami was all set that day. Because right. Because there was no cops anywhere. Right. <sighs> and I feel bad because I do want to cater to our audience and I want to be like, yes, this is the thing. But we also want to be truthful and not um, like... I don't know. Well, give into the fanfare and just agree that like this is a thing when yeah, it's not really. Because yeah. obviously this is a mysterious podcast, so we right. want to talk about the mysterious stuff. But right. and this is mysterious because we don't have a clear cut answer, and whether or not it is some kind of project, that's still mysterious, you know, and still cool. Um, the I mean, project itself is not cool. Well, I think it's whack. That, <laughs> I don't want to live through this. <laughs> I think it's whack that they're faking aliens because. They're they're basically using of course aliens. And of I course. feel bad for our alien friends for that. You know? They well, shouldn't be depicted the way that, you know, our government wants to make them because they could turn around and make them evil and then they might not be and it's and not fair to them. People argue that too with me a lot, um, because I'll be like, I personally don't think that it's like that. I don't think they're evil. I don't think they're going to wipe us out. I don't think anything like that. And they're like, yeah, what about re- reptilians? I'm like, okay, well, yeah, but I, I, we just don't know. We just, we just don't know. No, I just don't want to give our aliens a bad name. Right. You know? Right. So, and if, but of course they're going to use that and, and they're probably using it because now's the time. Because we just had the UAP thing. Yeah. The the military is confessing It's just what things. a time to be alive. Like, to see on the news, which I don't believe anything, literally anything that any news... And you shouldn't. Ever, They're there for a reason. Ever tells me. They but have a motive. Yes, exactly. And you... It's insane how every news cast station from every single city and town in the U.S. all are saying the exact same things, like it's a script. Have you ever seen yes. the video? I'm going to yes. all insert it it's here. good. Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about the trouble and trying to be responsible. One sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media Unfortunately, some members of the media use their, their platforms to push their, their own personal bias and agenda, and agenda to control exactly, control exactly what people think. think. And this, this is, is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This 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 is extremely dangerous to our democracy. It's good. It's That's like, a good it, there's no way you can believe the media. There's no way because these things, everybody is saying the exact same things. There's no like, they're not even putting any personality in it. They're like reading from a fucking script. When I was in college, um, I had a professor that was very anti-government and he was an English professor, but he spent the entire time, the whole semester, making us read stuff about who owns the media oh. and the reason for wow. why they 
do that and you can follow the money. It's out there. It's not like that's oh, yeah. not a mysterious thing. That's not a wicked, mysterious topic. That's legit. Mm-hmm. Um, that there's proof and everything. That's not like your beliefs. It's real. And they, they have a motive and they have a reason. That's why they call it TV programming. Like, right. hello, hello, hello. That's what Don't I mean. There, it. It's out there. But it's right in your face. They're is. telling you what they're doing. Yes. And it really just is such a, like I said, a day to be alive when you're listening to the news. Be like, there's aliens in Miami. Alien invasion. It's like, what? I also find it weird that there's a lot of Floridians that did not hear about the story. Wow. Mm-hmm. And I mean, almost everybody's got family in Florida. Mm-hmm. Maybe not everybody in Miami, but reach out to your Florida fam. And ask them and see if they've heard about this. Because I don't know about you, but I know Florida is enormous. But something like that happens, the entire state is going to know about it. Right. So there's just a lot of little parts. But, but and I right. mean, what a time to be alive. And I said that yeah. when you were here. I was like, what can you do besides just hope you've got a seatbelt on for this ride? Because it's that you're, yeah. you're, you can't get out of it. So you might as well enjoy it. <laughs> you it might as well seem enjoy. like real life. It doesn't. Mm-hmm. It does not seem like real life. It seems like science fiction. Mm-hmm. And there's theories behind that too. But we're not going to get into that today. Yeah. Yeah. Because we really could do multiple episodes on this kind of stuff. Yeah. So anything else to add? Um, I'm looking real quickly here at some notes. I don't think I have anything else though. Oh, yeah. Another thing to keep in mind real quick going back is... There has been a lot of speculation that a lot of that footage isn't even real footage. Like the footage of them running in a panic. Mm -hmm. People were saying that the Bayside Mall is an outdoor mall. Did you know that? I'm going to look that up right now to just validate that because I didn't know that. Um, But apparently it's an outdoor mall in Miami. And um, a lot of that footage shows... The indoors and like a like a floor like you can clearly see the floor is not cement it's not out, yeah. it's not outdoors um and then some people i saw some comments i don't know if it was reddit or like youtube comments where people were saying like that you can find a lot of those videos in like stock video footage yeah of like people running panicked through a mall and that like that whole orb thing was in yeah i saw that too we are Japan again, we're we thinking. I think it was yeah, Japan or some know. shit like like years ago. So it's like that's all those little things are all the things that make me just be like, you know. And don't forget when you post on social media for a lot of people there is a motive. A lot of people will take something and think that this is their come up. This is their time to be able to go viral. Um and and it might not necessarily be like a malicious thing, like they want to lie or anything. It's like for personal gain. Um, and there's yeah. reasons people post things and lie. Right. Oh yeah. Always. There's always some sort of motive. Right. Um, but yeah, Bayside Marketplace, a two story open air shopping center. So yeah, of course the stores are inside, but there's, it's not your typical indoor mall, like in those videos where you can see people running and sliding and like, you know, in a panic. So I mean, anybody, like you said, anybody can use any videos to try to make whatever point they want. And that's why just doing this is so hard as a podcaster that researches this type of shit. Because we have so many different sources with so much different information. At some point, you're just kind of like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm just kidding. At some point, you're like, I don't fucking know. Right. Like, I I really don't even know anymore. And I sometimes I just totally stop researching a topic because there's just too much. Right. Um, and, and contradicting it, each other, yeah, yeah, and they're getting so good. People just with their phones are getting so good, yeah. making look, making something look real, right? Yeah, making something believable. Oh my gosh, the iPhones, you can like, yeah, they'll literally crop an image and put yep. it on another background. Yep. Like you don't even need Photoshop anymore, right? It's wild, right? So yeah, I agree with that guy. Um, you know, we would be seeing, we would definitely be seeing some clear footage especially the people above from buildings like nearby uh-huh. the, the footage that they were shooting it's like so crystal clear on all the cars and stuff and then all of a sudden it's like that's an alien and it's like a blur yeah you know and it's like yeah come on come and on. um people will come for us if we don't mention it but there was some kind of uh 
mannequins of some sort that were there yeah, that were like statue. black and tall uh-huh. statues or something and yep. people were using that and uh, that yeah. was a thing too so yeah i don't know we just don't know we don't know and that's the fun about it so you know and it's also tough like you said to cover a topic that not many other people have covered yeah because so. it means that it's going to be extra listenership for us which is wonderful i want that but mm-hmm. but it's hard i also because- hate to be like well here's our episode <laughs> and then- we don't know mm-hmm. bye <laughs> yeah I know we were we were wondering if we should wait to see what else comes out from it, but we did. We waited. We waited. Yeah, we did. We did wait a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. we wanted to do it like the next day. Yeah, we almost did. We almost did it the same day actually, but yep. um, you were nervous to talk about it. You yeah, said, I was. My little skid, little Danny, all the I time. Know, I know. Yeah. All right. Well, that was good. Good. I have some stuff. Yeah. Um, Let's get into so it. we have a great listener mail from Miranda P. So she's our new Patreon subscriber. Thanks, Miranda, again. She she says, hi, happy face. I'm telling you, if we ever met, we'd be best friends, all three of us. I can't tell you how much I vibe with the two of you. Cool. I live in Buffalo, New York, born in 1985. Awesome. I'm obsessed with all things supernatural, and finding your podcast has given me so much mentally and spiritually. I could go on forever. Anyway, I'm messaging because y'all never talk about how perfect your music is. Like, I have a whole dance for your intro. My three-year-old doesn't get to listen to your podcast, only the intro, but she's too obsessed. See? And she sent a video, which I'll show you, of her little daughter dancing, and it was so freaking cute. That is so cute. Like, that's like... I have goosebumps. I know. Miranda, that's that so was, sweet. I know. Every every message, I'm like, oh, that is the sweetest one yet. <laughs> I know. Um, that is a really good message, though, because to get the little ones I know. You know, involved. So cute. So cute. And then she said, it must be so much work to produce your podcast, especially since you're both moms. As a working mom of a three-year-old, I have no idea how you're able to add this to your plate. <laughs> we don't know either, Miranda. Danny, Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to show my support, encouragement, and acknowledgement that I see you. We are so alike, and I can't wait to hear what you produce next. I love all this mysterious, all my support, Miranda and Pepper, my three-year-old that loves your theme song. That is the cutest name, too. I, oh, my gosh. Do you think it's Pepper Ann? Oh, my gosh. Did is... you ever watch Pepper Ann? No. No, that is a good theme song. Pepper Ann, she's like one in a million. You never saw that? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe but thank you again. That was awesome. No one's cooler than Pepper Ann. Dana's going to keep going. I watched way too much TV as a kid. <laughs> That's good. I love so, that. So special thank you to Miranda yes, and Miranda. also our other Patreon subscribers, Linda, Dana, Kristen, and Matt. Yeah. So look out for your special you prizes coming in the mail if you give me your address. That's cool. All right. On that note. <laughs> I love it. All right. So stay, stay mysterious. mysterious.